guys, it's just him. So I'm at the park today and I'm gonna do some, of course, outdoor photography. So I already have my stuff ready. I'm just my little kit of dolls and figures and accessories and clothes, all that good stuff. So now I need to set up and we're gonna take some shots. Okay, so as you can see in the shots that I just did, I try to work with perspective. So as you see, um, I had a miniature um, park bench, and it actually matches the green park benches that and tables that are here in this park. So it was great for perspective. So basically what I'm on is another table. And using that as my background, it blends the two worlds together. Sometimes things like that can happen and work in your favor, and sometimes it doesn't. Another thing that I want to do is keep the shot cropped and tight so that it doesn't look like you're on the table. So you can be very surface level, where you don't actually have to show the surface of the base that you're on. And even if you do, there's just clever ways you can trick the eye to think that you're on a different type of platform. You crop, keep it together, keep it tight. Use perspective in your favor. So these next shots are very easy to do. Just secure your camera to the ground, press video, and then edit out walking out of frame. Okay guys, so on a whole other day in another location. So I like this park because it is usually secluded and it has a very big parking lot. So when I need to do shots for my cars and I want them to look like they're actually on pavement or the street, I can come to a park like this and get the shot. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so the purpose of this video is to kind of show you the use of using perspective and kind of editing out background scenes to look like maybe you have something in the forefront that's continuing on off screen. So here in this picture, it looks like my trailer is connected to a truck, but it's not. The same with this small trailer, it's not. 